any given function at any point can be described as either convex or concave, and simultaneously at that point you can describe it as either increasing or decreasing. And so, you know, it, it's tempting to confuse these. It's tempting to think of convex and increase as the same thing, or concave and decrease as the same thing, but they're completely independent properties. So basically, it's sort of like this. At any given x values, if you zoom in on an x value, let's say zoom in on this x value over here, let's say x equals 10, and I'm just looking at this point on this function. Now if I zoom in close enough, I can then either describe this function in uh, either, again, across the increase-decrease dimension. So I either have to describe it as increasing or decreasing, or of course flat if it's neither. And here it's pretty clear that this is increasing. As you move from left to the right, the function, the y value is going up. But then simultaneously, at that point, I have to then describe it as either concave or convex. And so here, that's about whether the slope itself is increasing or decreasing. So here, as I move from left to the right, as it's getting, if it's getting steeper and steeper, then this is going to be considered con, uh, convex or concave up, if it's getting steeper and steeper. On the other hand, let's look at another example. Let's look at an example that was like this, where a function looks sort of like this. So here, if I were to zoom in on this x value and ask you to describe this function, you'd still describe it as increasing because it's going up from left to right. The y value is going up as you move from left to right, but it's concave down. So even though it's increasing, it's concave down because the slope as you move from left to right is getting like a steep slope, not as steep slope, and then here it's even a flat slope. It might even go negative soon, right? So this portion of it, as you move from left to the right, if the slope is going down, meaning it's getting less positively sloped or more negatively sloped, then it's going to be described as concave down. So let's take a look at a function like this. Like, let's say this is a parabola. This, if this is a parabola, meaning the slope is, you know, it's getting, uh, going from a big negative number to a not as negative number to zero to then, you know, an increasing slope, then throughout this entire interval, this function is concave up. It's never becoming concave down because the slope is never decreasing. And the slope is always increasing as you go from left to right. First, like getting less and less negative, then once it's positive, getting more and more positive. Yet, even though it's, you know, concave up the entire time, it's decreasing on this half because as you go from right, left to right, the y value is physically moving down but it's increasing on this half because the y value is physically moving up. So again, just to show that even though concavity-wise it was concave up, convex that is, the entire range, it was only increasing on half of it and decreasing on the other half of it. Similarly, uh, for a function like this, let's say this go guy looks like this, let's just say it looks something like this. Now, here, it's uh, if you sort of look at the max and min points, then you can kind of identify where it's increasing, decreasing. Like here, it's increasing up until here, up until this point A, but then from A to B, it's decreasing because the Y value is physically moving down. From B to C, it's increasing because it's moving up, and then C, to, C onwards, it's decreasing because it's moving down. But as far as concavity goes, you're looking for, it's sort of like this, a rough shape to keep in mind is anything that looks like a downward opening parabola or any portion of it, even in a small portion of this is concave down. So if I were to give you a graph that's just like this, it's it's sort of like it's a part of this shape and so it's concave down. Similarly, if I give you just this shape, like something that's decreasing but getting steeper and steeper, as in decreasing more and more, faster and faster, that's also concave down. Similarly, if I give you anything that either looks like this shape or this shape, either of those are considered concave up because they're a part of this shape where the slope is increasing from left to right. So looking at this, we could then sort of split this not at the max and mins, but rather at like this point and like this point. And so here from, you know, let's just call this x1 and let's call this x value x2. So from the beginning until x1, it's sort of concave down. From x1 to x2, it's concave up. And from x2 onwards, it's concave down. Right, so that's sort of the difference here. So just to finally recap, the four ways a function could look. A function could either look like this, 
It could look like this. It could look like uh, this, or it could look like this. So in either of these four ways, I'm just gonna let's sort of just describe the two characteristics. So if it looks like anything in this top left graph, here the function is both it's increasing and it's concave down. So let's describe it along those two qualities: increasing, decreasing wise, and concave up or concave down. So this is concave down. Here it's decreasing, right, because as left to right it's going down, and it's also concave down. Again, both of these are concave down because of their, the slope is decreasing. Here it's a positive, big positive, then it's like a, it's not as big positive slope. Here it's like a small negative slope, but here it's a big negative slope, so it's decreasing. It's getting more and more negative of a slope, uh, which is why it's concave down. Here, this function is it's decreasing clearly because as you move from left to right, the y value is dropping, but it's concave up because the slope is increasing. The slope is like negative 20 here, but then it's like only negative three or something here. So that number for the slope is increasing, even though the actual y value is dropping. And then finally here, this function is increasing because it's go the y value is going up as you go left to right but it's concave up because the slope is going up for left to right. So again, just one final recap is as you move from left to right, so I'm just gonna write one last thing, which is as you move left to right, it's increasing if the y value goes up and it's concave up if the slope goes up. So that's the difference. So the slope might be a negative number, in which case it's actually decreasing, but if the slope, even though it's a negative number, if it's going up, that's what could make it concave up.